Hey everybody, welcome back to the adventures of the Pacific Pounder. Feels good to say that. It's been literally four or five days since I last recorded this. We've got pernicious pickpockets. Anomalies known for stealing things or even more larcenous in this part of the zone. Shocking. Um, if we quickly review our skills here, I got the limb shield on shift, the limb pulse emitter on F, the limb shield is a physical thing, the pulse emitter gets rid of the hangers, we got the arc dock with space, and we got the handbrake, which is honestly questionable. It's not that great. Um, okay, let's plan out our route here. Nothing too crazy. We're not going to be, well, actually I am going to be leaving from here. Uh, if you'll recall the end of the last video that you saw, I was going to go and look for the wriggling wreck and we found one. It feels amazing. Uh, but let's go ahead and get warmed up. We're going to grab some of the energy around here. And uh, then we're going to pop back out. We'll have access to the zone that we need to get to. And when that's done, we can just go there. Which is getting into like this, this deep zone. So we were in the, I don't know, shallow zone to start. <laughs> I don't know what that opening zone was called. Then we went to mid zone, now we're going deep zone. Let's go investigate this creepy house, shall we? Yeah. I don't, I don't even like the way these things look. Plus I might get like one thermo sap, so. That's cool. We've we've identified the uh, the right spots to be getting thermal sap, and uh, those guys they're not in. Which was our original theory, by the way. And I, I had a lot of comments saying, "Oh, you should you should really be breaking like all of those tourists constantly." And I was like, "Yeah." Nobody's got time for that, guys. We don't have time for that. That was actually the plan early, and then it just felt real bad. <laughs> it felt pretty terrible. Okay, what am I carrying? I'm carrying way too much stuff. Let's toss this in here. I'll keep the first aid things. I wouldn't hate seeing, like, an additional backpack expansion, to be fair. Uh, this side we've got a dumpster pearl, a couple extra plasma scrappers, and this side is empty. Uh, some people had been pointing out that I might have some type of cork on the car. And it's not that, it's not the, it's not the trunk beeping. Okay, because that one we've, de we've decided, and I've decided, to be clear, that, um, we're keeping it. Because it's like, it's endearing, you know? It reminds me of a simpler time. All right, we're gonna stay parked on the road. I didn't like that roadside in particular, so I'm glad that it's now gone. Oh, some people have been asking, they've been asking for a while here, but like, I can up the brightness a bit. <laughs> the thing is, like, uh, I don't think it's going to help that much. <laughs> when it's dark in this game, it's just, it's really dark. And um, it's hard to account for everybody's viewing conditions and devices and uh, how many, how much light is in your room, how many windows are open, that kind of stuff. So it's not that I'm necessarily ignoring things, but uh, it's just impossible to account for everything. And then the other thing that came up was uh, in regards to the sound effects being too loud. So here's how I have the settings for sound. Okay, so sound effects are actually low. Music is even lower. Dialogue is maxed. Like, it sounds pretty good to me. But again, I don't know if you're listening on your phone or your... What the frick is that? That's a pickpocket up there. Is that just one of those sticky guys? Whoa. <gasps> he just... Actually? Did he actually just take my flare gun? He sure did. He 
How do I get this back? <laughs> okay, that at least wasn't too annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, it's really hard to account for everyone's individual devices and preferences and all that kind of stuff, so... You know, uh, just a little peek behind the curtain for when you're creating content like this. It's just one of those things where it's literally impossible to make everybody happy. And most often than not, the comments that you'll get are from people that are having an opinion about something. And it's usually not like, this video is perfect in every single way. You know, because that's not, you know, why are you going to comment that? Although if you did, trust me. If you ever want to just make your creator, like, your one of your favorite creator's days, like, leave them comments like that. <laughs> because they're, they're literally uh, quite rare. Not to say that we don't have a positive community or anything. Anyways, now I'm just rambling. But you guys get what I'm saying. See, like, stuff like this, like, yeah, it's dark. And there's nothing that I can do about it. Other than what I wish is we would get like a headlamp not for the car um for us specifically that we could just wear that would basically beam like this all the time like that i didn't see it in the upgrade tree so who knows oh we actually might want these pressurized cartridges but we need um steel i wonder how much we need steel s plates let me check I think it's at least worth investigating to see what I'm carrying. Didn't realize how far away I was. Like, we should start heavy breathing. Okay, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Can I even make any? Nope. <laughs> it's tier two, so I can't even make this out here. Harsh. I'm not sure what the other quirk is that I might be missing. Unless it's... Is it perhaps... Hold on. I get out. I get in. Hmm. Oh, whoops. I forgot. We want to go get that energy. Uh, I was thinking maybe it's the headlights, or the, uh, the headlights, sorry. The wipers, that's the word. It's the wipers, perhaps, when I got into the car there, but I don't think that's it either. Flashlight's not long for this world, but hopefully it works for this trip. What is that? That's one of those... We've seen these. We've seen these. But I'm going to double check. I can't remember what they're called. Giant orbs. Yeah, that makes sense. That totally checks out. Push it real good back to the car. We'll stop and get one more. Remember, right now at least, our energy isn't what's holding us back from doing upgrades. It's just, you know, materials and the like. One more, and then we pop on out of here. What the? It's a little bubble around our car. Oh, that's because I hit shift. I was going to say that bubble kind of makes things hard to see, but... Maybe we just turn it off. How about that? 
So I mentioned that I haven't recorded this for like four to five days. And that's because I've been working on these other projects for things coming up that I think... Well, if you guys like tactics games, uh, you're going to like a lot of stuff that's going to come up on the channel in the next little bit here. I'm confident in that. This has been a really nice change of pace from what we were doing the last few months. And that sense of, you know, getting that Subnautica vibe, the discovery, the exploration, the how does this work? We're going to have to learn about it. The upgrade path, like all of that is so nice in here. I just love it. Okay, we're actually pretty far from that. I don't need to be doing that much cardio. Although, if we have any runners watching, I did do a sub 50 10k the other day. feel pretty good about that. Wow. Not the goo! Okay. Now, unfortunately... Oh, did he just steal a freaking door from me? Okay, so I see. Their thing is, they will just take something and then they go hide, but you've got this little guy you can follow. I didn't realize they, they could just rip off a piece of your car. <laughs> that is awesome. Also, nails the job perfectly of just being mildly annoying. So I want to get to the point just outside where the zone will prop uh, will proc, and that way I can spend less time running from the storm. Water is probably not great for us, but been worse. Okay, so we're a little too close here. Let's just back it up and hope we don't hit anything. Ooh, that was pretty, pretty close, actually. Do you see how that goes pink, meaning that we can't trigger it because we're too close? That's basically a system put in there so that you can't just go right to the thing. You know what, though? I am going to get these. We haven't seen these for a while. I think this is worth the risk. Which is ultimately pretty low anyway. Come on. Where's my car? Oh. Wait, what the heck? This just literally just phased in in front of us. I've never seen that. However, we have seen on the map that things will pop in from time to time. We gotta go. We gotta go. We got a low vehicle battery warning. Excellent. That's perfect for me right now. That's great. I maybe sat around there a little bit longer than I should have. And if my lights go out in here, which appears like it's probably likely, I'm gonna have some more problems. Oh my god. Okay, what is going on with my... My screen sometimes just shifts wildly. Okay, this is bad. This is the worst it's been ever. I 
I think we have enough uh, hull integrity here to make this work, but certainly not ideal. Come on. Got a lot of energy out of that very quick trip, though. Like, a lot. What the hell? Okay. Let's get some quick repairs in. We'll look at some upgrades again as a sort of, uh, refresher. Check our fax machine. Sounds like something's happening there. So I do have two plasma chargers in here. That's good. We'll take that. And just to be sure again, this one's empty. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Dump. Dump. And dump. Dump, dump. And then this stuff will keep in the car for now. I actually should keep that on my person. Yeah. Okay, and then let's dump these into here. All right, sweet. Let's turn the car off. So now we should have access, right? Yeah, we do. So that's where we want to be. We do have the highway drive, and we'll just rip through there. Maybe I might not even stop to collect any energy, to be honest. I'm trapped out here now. I tried going backwards, back the way I came, but parts of me seem stuck. Like, I can't reset or something. Weird. Okay. What might we want here? Expanded locker, bioflare gun. Um, yeah. So maybe some of these things, like insulated panels and stuff. Um, armored doors versus lead plated, so it gives electrical resist versus radiation, but I, again, I still, I still feel like the lead plated is probably the best. I need a belching barnacle anomaly. Belching barnacles, that's probably something water related, right? We can do a lead plated bumper, even though I don't think I have a bumper spot. And then getting into something like this, just so that we unlock all the others above it. Armored bumper. Uh, now, where's my battery thing here? So now we could do the lightning rod, because I finally did the wriggling wreck. So that's huge. Unlock over half of everything in the fabrication station. Just got an achievement. No big deal. Ever argue about whether Frankenstein was the doctor or the monster? Now you can argue about whether it's the mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. Yeah, I mean, so... Obviously we want that. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Lightning rod. Okay. Let's make one. I think we could probably, like, we haven't used that fuel synthesizer at all, but we're, we also haven't used these floodlights, so. I think these, we're going to say, nah, it's not really something we're using a lot of. This will definitely 
be beneficial for us. That's sweet. And then let's check what else is now. There we go. Let's check what else is now in that tree that might be interesting. Because once kind of once we got blocked, I was like, yeah, well, not a big deal. Hydro generator. It's not simply the energy from raindrops is being converted into electricity. It's the acid and heavy metals sometimes present within the zone's rainfall being so utilized, so probably don't drink the water. Okay. We also have a side battery. And we have a mini turbine. Is using a large propeller to capture wind energy kind of a janky concept? It could be. Does it look like a little amateur? It might, but does it work? Great Scott, it certainly does. Okay, let me go straight into the middle here for a side battery. Whether I use it or not, this gets me access to the next level of batteries, it looks like. So lead acid, and I'm actually, I am actually short on energy here, which is unfortunate. That's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, okay, it's fine. I would like to be able to see what the requirements are here so that you can kind of plan ahead, but I get why they don't do it too. Solar panel is sweet. I probably need a roof rack for this though, right? I would imagine that I need a roof rack. And if I do that, then I probably can't do the, uh, the solar energy. Because now I don't think I have enough stable. Yeah, I'm a little short on that. However, um, I can still take the, the hydro generator. It rains a lot. So let's go ahead and do the Hydro Generator. I assume this is a side part as well. Fuel doesn't seem to be an issue currently. So we'll do that. Come on, take these three screws. Nope, you won't. Fair. Fair. Well played. Well played. The steel door now we can recycle. Alright. Do we have any personal upgrades that we can do? No. Alright. So, this should keep our battery in a much better position. The other thing I could consider is replacing this side storage, which we haven't used, with the side battery that we unlocked. Gas reservoir, larger internal tank. We need corrupted energy, though. It's probably going to be more popular in the deep zone, if I was a betting man. Side battery. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Now watch me fill up our whole thing. And uh, our whole like couple of bags or whatever. This I'm gonna recycle. Crude flashlight, I think I'll recycle as well, as long as I can make a new one. Uh, we have the bio lantern, but I need, oh, I'm just short on swamp coral. That's okay. Uh, okay, crude flashlight. That's great. Vacuum's good, pry bar we need. Plasma scrapper, I have two in the car. So this is all fine. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Chuck that one.
I don't know how I dropped that, but I did. Okay. Then we can use... Oh, this just is a basic scrapper there. We'll throw that in. And in here, I should also have one of the anchors. That's good. Okay. So now, I wonder if it's possible that I can make one of those repair torches. That would be sick. What does that go under? Maintenance. Yeah, the blowtorch. So marsh eggs I need a lot of. So unfortunately, it means repair putty. And I don't have a lot. Because we need chemicals. So let me get the key components here. That's going to spell trouble. We'll get the headlights repaired. Oh, and that one's totally gone. Give me chemicals? I wonder if it'd be cool if they changed it so that you could ask for a specific material. But they would only give you like a certain amount. Oh, they just gave me repair, buddy. That's, that's kind. I don't think I get anything out of this. No. Okay. I'll take the repair putty though. That's that's so nice. What tires do we have? Off roads? Yeah. Okay. That's the best I can do with what we got. So let's head out. Look at our battery stats. Oh my god, that feels good. That's awesome. So, let's be on the lookout for a couple things. Um, any of those, like, ARDA trailers for chemicals would be fantastic. Uh, repair stations, obviously great. Those are our two main things right now that I would like to find. Uh, we're going to take the highway. Now, there's still something there that's not recognized. Something I haven't scanned. Don't know what it is. So, there's a building on the right of this split. We'll take that through. We'll check the building. And then we'll, uh... Go to the... We'll, we'll, oh, my God. There's this weird, like snapping thing that happens sometimes. I don't know if that happens to any of you, but you see it, right? When I just like whip pan somewhere. That's not me. It's not me doing that. But I have noticed it. Recently. Yeah, see, look, it's, this is just keeping my battery topped up. This is deadly. That's going to be huge, man. So we'll come out on the other side of... That scared me. On the other side of the... Tunnel. And then we'll, like, dip across to get the... Other building. That trailer. I imagine at some point, there's a world where I could, like... See, I'm using this physical shield here. I wonder if there's a world where I can uh, get to the point. Might even be. What? What? What is going on? Oh, that was weird. I feel like controls were reversed for a second. I might, I might even be at that point. If you look at my battery meter at the moment, with that shield on full time, I'm actually gaining battery. That's cool. It seems like I'm getting the benefits of the rain. Even inside here. I don't know if that's intended, but... Whoops. Showed that thing who's boss. Oh, one of my tires. Yeah, I could tell. That's why something felt weird. My back rear tire. 
I feel like I'm one with the car right now. I feel one with the car. And it is a really nice feeling. Now, do I have the tool? Do I have the... I don't even have materials, so... I'm not going to be able to make a... Uh, a ceiling kit, unfortunately. So we're just going to drive with a jank tire for a bit. It's not the last time it's going to happen. Okay, so we're going to pop out. We're going to go through the trees to the left at a predetermined opening spot that I can find. I think we can handle this. Oh my god. I might have one of these. Need an electrician's kit. Huh. I don't have one, guys. So, here's the lesson that we've just learned. Uh, before I leave, I need to take some of those things. I'm putting on my don't grab me weapon. Uh, I need to make some of those kits back at the base before we leave. Just in time, you see that? Threw that on, blocked it. Sweet. Okay, highway drive, clean. Let's go. I was just gonna say no energy here, but it's uh, one of those like anchor. Yeah anchor obfuscation things Look at all of these though. I have to I need the chemicals So you can bet your butt we're checking that stuff Now there's no rain so my battery isn't building there's drips But I don't think that's gonna count and there's no storm So we're just back to like regular battery drain. Oh, is that an electric tourist too close? I think so. I haven't seen bollards for a minute. Dude. Now I don't have a flare gun. Sweet. Do have this though. Less sweet. Why is it saying danger here? Like, what's ha Oh, the 2.5k radiation. There's chemicals. Okay. I'll take it. Oh. Let's break this thing. There was an NVIDIA patch the other day, and I'm noticing now that there's a couple of weird, like, performance hitches on some of those animations. But I imagine that's just, like, a shader caching thing that's happening. Okay, cool. Nerd talk out. Is 
Is that not one of my things? Guess not. Okay, so that's two of these. I suppose I could just walk over there. And then I'll hit that. I'll go over to that one, and then we'll go back to the car. You know what I just realized? There may have been a locker in that other place I didn't check. I think I saw the locker room, just didn't even register. Anomaly Encounters number five. It was pure nonsense at first. They were often garbled, and the ones we could decipher made no sense. The dates were wrong, and they talked about made-up events. Except they weren't made up, you see. It was the gasoline shortage one I remember first, because it was so accurate. We had exactly that shortage two weeks later, down to the gallon. Then there was the lost technician. I thought no one would believe me, but my supervisor and I listened to the one which predicted the Baker Boy being dissolved. He was, right on time. But after that, as soon as we stopped, or as soon as we had them all deciphered, they stopped. So we found Anomaly Encounters 4 and 5. Looks like there's six of them. Okay, then we'll hit this one. And we'll move. If there's another batch of these. I think we probably should hit them just based on the shortages we saw. Damn it. Let's see if I have enough to make one now, though. I probably should. There we go. I'll even make two, because I'm a planner. Did you? The main thing we want are the, these are those hazmat, um, these things, the hazmat cabinets. Plasma scrapper, hey? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's organize this. Take these, rotate that. I feel like the auto sorting could be a little bit better. To be honest, it's not a huge amount of work or anything. But I just feel like they haven't totally nailed that. Because you still have to go in there like you just saw and rotate things once in a while. Oh, look at this. Well, good thing I made two. Where is it? Did I make two? Oh, don't tell me it dropped one. Right away. What? Huh. That's weird. Well, like when I switched this out when I was carrying it last time, it dropped it, right? Then we picked it up. But I swear, I made two. It's 
Funny story, when I first played the, the demo for this, you come up to your first ARDA truck, it's like scripted, right? It tells you to go to the trucks and scan the things, whatever. And I saw this, and I, I literally couldn't figure out how to open it. It was not locked or anything. And I'm trying to, like, reach through awkwardly to, like, grab the uh, the bottles and stuff. And then I realized, oh, you just have to open it with your hands. <laughs> that was, for some reason, that didn't register at all because you're being taught to use all these tools and things. just thought that was a little embarrassing. But uh, you guys didn't see that. Okay, let's move on. Oh, uh, hold on. Maybe I can make a ceiling kit now as well. Nope, I need rubber. Okay. Let's go over to these. It'd be cool if hitting those electric tourists uh, would chart, like, would funnel through the lightning rod. Let's actually just check. No, battery's draining. Interesting. gonna do some zen clearing for a couple of minutes take a deep breath go to the bathroom gather your thoughts hey rubber sweet I'll do the ceiling kit before I forget Actually, I'm going to turn off this shield, too, just in case we're not, uh... There we go. The flares could actually be decent in here. If I want to save on some of this. Some of that flashlight usage. Ooh, that is a huge cabinet with not a lot in it. I'll take you with me. We'll check this one, then we'll drive the car up and check those last two. Vacuuming out the cabinet is, like, next-level laziness. Holy, they got me good there. Okay. Oh, look! It is charging the rod. That's sweet. That's so cool. Um, what was I just thinking that I wanted to make? I had a thought in my head. Damn it. I want to store all this. Oh! Flare gun. 
I need... Oh, it's tier two. Damn. Okay, so that, that should be one of the upgrades we go for, too. All right, with that alert... Come on. Why can't my door close? Is that a, is that a quirk, guys? Am I being quirked right now? Okay, we need to get out of here. Nice. Maybe a tourist was blocking it or something. As much as I wouldn't mind getting some energy. Boy. Oh, we cleared it. Oh, this is going to be such a bad landing. Oh, God. Smooth like butter. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me just take a look at the map. Can I make this? Yeah, it looks like we're going down here. Now, if I happen to just spot the energy thing, that would be amazing. We have the scanner, but oh no. Oh no, we are in a tumble. Okay, well, I probably deserve that. She's fine, right? Look at her. She's great. Here's what we'll do. We are getting pings near here. Let me just fire it off, and if I see something, cool. Oh. Okay, so it's that way. I can justify this. We have time. Actually looks to be about in the direction that we just saw that on the map itself. Wait, is there two here? <laughs> yeah, there are. Talk about convenient. What? I'm getting killed. Like, whoa. That was very close. What, what do I... Okay, let me, uh... Let me take this down. That's all my healing. God, these are annoying. Yeah, let's get out. I don't know what that honk was. Still got me. You know what? I will go and get this. Against my better judgment. There's probably some lead.
I need to fix that windshield. Or the the door window. I got tire problems again. I got two door problems, actually. We'll do that when we cross. Actually, maybe it's better to do that before we cross, because if we get into, like, really bad weather or something crazy right off the get, then that's a bit of a problem. Let's first make sure... Oh. It's bald. There's no fix. Ugh. I can at least get rid of the flat, but... I can't do another ceiling kit now for the windows. So I need more rubber. But that tire needs to be replaced, so... Yeah, see how this isn't closing? No clue what that little logo was on the left there. So maybe this is maybe this is a quirk, but like it was closed before. Oh, let me also check if I can make repair putty. I can, and I'm gonna do it. That door is also dead. This is leaking. Need a ceiling kit. So could I just lose stuff out of there? I think so. So, what am I missing for a ceiling kit? It's rubber, right? Yeah. I need a lot of it. Okay, let's keep cruising up here. High instability. We're going to try to just race through here. Maybe get some energy if it's convenient. 